Batman fans are loving The Dark Knight. Now the fans of Agent Scully and Mulder get to have their turn. The new X-Files movie opens this Friday, six years after the TV show went off the air. And People Magazine executive editor and early show entertainment contributor Jess Cagle spoke with both David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson, right? Both of them, right. And believe it or not, this is David and Gillian's first broadcast interview together in a decade. Now, the film's plot, especially the relationship between the two main characters, is shrouded in mystery. But as they say, the truth is out there, and I did my best to find out. The eerie music is back, along with David Duchovny as Fox Mulder and Gillian Anderson as Dana Scully. For years on the X-Files series, they teamed up to investigate the paranormal, uncovering dark and foreboding secrets along the way. But they can keep a secret, too. So the big buzz about this movie obviously has been how how far does the Mulder and Scully relationship go? So, so what are you willing to say about that, or what can you say about it? Um, well, does this air after the movie's out? Or? No, no, it will air before. Okay. Well, absolutely so nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, they've had six years in between when we last saw them and when we see them now. So, and they've, they've been together in some capacity, I will say that. It's not like they've split up. That's what's interesting about the movie is that kind of mature relation, maturing relationship within a thriller. Tell me what you see. I see a face. This time around, Scully convinces Mulder to meet with a self-proclaimed psychic who might or might not be telling all he knows about a string of murders. The rest is so secret that this is the only scene between Duchovny and Anderson that the studio is releasing to the public. Anything else they say would spoil too many surprises. This is not my job anymore, Mulder. No, that's right, that's right. You're, 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 you're just like my, my booking agent now, right? You're right. You know, that, that their relationship was so, no, no. so intimate for so many years. The friendship and the camaraderie and the, and the love that these people share for each other is, it goes beyond any, you know, paper that's signed or, or any um, sex scene or any, you know, it's so much deeper than all of that. And, and, um, and they should just, you know, leave it alone. <laughs> no, like, what what did you have for lunch? Shirakani. Reisa mina meumia. The president's been hurt in an accident. Both actors have made a point to show other sides of their talent since X-Files went off the air. Anderson won acclaim for stage work in movies like The Last King of Scotland. Duchovny won a Golden Globe for playing a washed-up writer in Californication. I don't care what you think. I just don't think the punishment fits the crime. Was there any reluctance to go back to this character? No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, it's a character that I love. I. It's a show that I love, and I, I, I love working on it with Jillian and the people. And, um, you know, all those questions about typecasting and everything that used to dog us. You know, that was the question we got more than anything. Are you afraid of being typecast? And it's like... We said no, and then we were. <laughs> <laughs> it was the right thing to do, Scully. This is not about finding an FBI agent. This is about you trying to save your sister. In truth, Duchovny and Anderson have managed to avoid being typecast by their X-Files roles, and since their on-screen chemistry is so clear, maybe that means they'll welcome more X-Files movies in the future. Like, in life, you have chemistry with people. You also have that as an actor, and, and you don't have any control over it as in life. You know, we were lucky, like Jillian said, and... Uh, just, it's almost despite us somehow. Yeah, we, we tried. We tried not to have it. I mean, there were times. <laughs> there were Boy, times. did we try. <laughs> Duchovny and Anderson say this movie will satisfy all the X-Files fanatics out there, but if you're an X-Files novice, I think you'll enjoy the movie just as much. Julie? Jess, why did it take so many years to get this movie finally made? Well, there were a lot of fights about money, but more, most recently between the creator, Chris Carter, and, and Fox, the studio, but also Duchovny had had some disagreements with them about money as well. But everyone's happy now. I've, clearly, they're all happy, <laughs> all back together, one big like happy that. family. Jess Cagle, thanks so much.